Hi guys, so I'm just outside Big Ben. But yeah, check all this out around here, look. All that, that the building around over there, look. All those big buildings that were probably not there when I was last year. <laughs> I don't think any of them were. There weren't really any. Look, they built all that within like two years. Yeah, Big Ben's still having work done on it, or Elizabeth Tower as it's called. <coughs> I'm not going to do too much of a long video because I don't want to waste too much battery, but I thought I'll just bring you a geyser and just show you around. The bridge there, the London Eye is just over there. You can see part of it, look. Barely. You can see the one of the pods people are in, look. All the red buses. Yeah. So yeah, uh, London. Um, interesting when I've come here. It's quite quiet. It's really quiet, actually. It's crazy how quiet it actually is. Um, compared to what I remember it, it used to be absolutely packed. Now, I, I used to even come on like, sometimes I'd come on weekdays, uh, and my parents used, we, I used to come for like, weekends away or something, but even a couple of times, we'd like take a, a couple of days in London, or uh, uh, even in the weekdays, and it was really busy, but like now, like, as you can see, it's pretty empty. <laughs> Now, I don't know if it's normally like this on a Monday round here, but I've been to Oxford Street today, and I've been to Oxford Street quite a few times, and I think that is the most empty I've ever seen it. So yeah, talk about getting rid of all the high street shops and all the city centre and or whatever, downtown if you're in America, whatever you call it, you know, all the shops. We're trying to get rid of all that, aren't we? So they to move everything online so you stay at home part of the great reset and i think all that is part of the great reset as well and that's only a small part of it if you, i don't know if anyone lives in london but you've got you've got to confirm with me as well that there's just so many skyscrapers big buildings going up all over london this is just a tiny percentage of it you see places like canary wharf stratford um where shepherd's bushes and all that lot there's, it, it, this is only a small percentage of it and, you know this is probably like the area in central london with the least amount of skyscrapers <laughs> or high-rise buildings because this is supposed to be the historic part but you know they're kind of spoiling it a little bit with all that and there's more down that end as well which i showed you in the previous video it's all part of the great reset it's all part of the new world order there's a boat going there look but yeah it's it's um you can get one of the barges as well it's it's the most dead i've ever seen it it's literally i don't know if you think this is bad like you know london you, know, you should see that some of the other towns in the uk the smaller towns and cities near where i live like where half the shops have closed down literally half the high street all the shops pretty much half the shops in the high street in my town has closed there's no they're, they're empty empty shops and I think that's what they want to do they want to get rid of high street stores don't they I don't know if you remember but I showed a, an article where I, I, I talked about um, doing a where they're talking about moving everything online where you own nothing and you rent everything everything will be a service and delivered to your home so yeah there's another boat over there look well, that's what they want I remember someone saying, another um, truth, truth seeker, saying ages ago that we're going to replace the Big Ben clock with a with a digital clock. <laughs> I don't think that's the case yet, but maybe in the future, I don't know. This is huge, this building here. You look how big it is. I mean, that, that tower over there is bigger than the Big Ben. I mean, the Big Ben's a smaller part. That's the Houses of Parliament. That's where the greedy bastards go <laughs> in the British government. <laughs> I was just a uh, little square, like a little city square I was sat and it was a really, really nice fountain there and it was, there was lots of greenery and lots of, there was uh, lots of plants and flowers all around it, it was really nice, I was just sat there having some lunch, it was great. <laughs> and it was quite historic as well and it, it wasn't really busy, 
it was which is a shame because you like the thrive you know you like things thriving don't you people enjoying themselves and i think that's what it is as well i think pe the, the, the government and the media have scared people so much that some people probably won't even come dare come to london <laughs> because they're they've been because of the because of the fear the government and the media's put out you know Another thing I've noticed in London as well is the amount of homeless people there is. It's it's sad, crazy really. Like there was a a girl, she was only right probably twenty or something. Really pretty as well. And she was she looked her face you could tell she, she was homeless and it was just sad to see and there was another guy literally just under, she, she was on a bridge and then there was another guy under the bridge and on a bed. I've just seen so many homeless people in London. And it's it's, it's not just London, it's in, in a lot of cities in the UK as well. I'm sure it's pretty much everywhere in the, around the world. You know, if we lived in a free world where, you know, you, you've got access to everything. You know, in a world where you don't have greedy bastards holding all the money. And we're all equal, you know. I mean, Homeless shouldn't exist. Homeless, you, everyone should have access to a house, to somewhere to stay. Everyone. They should be allowed to stay. But we're in this system, aren't we, where, you know, some people are forced onto the streets. And you look at, um, you know, if, if you look at, like, the UK, I'm, not, I'm just using GDP per capita as, a, as an example, right? Apparently, in GDP, the UK makes 2.6 trillion US dollars a year, right? And you divide that into it by a population, it adds up to about over forty thousand dollars, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars. Now, if if everyone was equal, they would have forty or fifty thousand dollars a year coming into their account, coming into their bank account. If everyone was equal, and everyone would have access to everything. There's enough homes for everyone. But of course, this system, people are greedy. A lot of people, the one percent own ninety-nine percent of the money and the wealth this day, these day and age, and that's what it is. But if you got rid of that everyone will be equal and no one will be on the streets we can, they can do that they will they can do that they can make everyone have a good lifestyle and a good life but they choose to hoard everything and take away people's freedoms take away everything from people so people don't have a good lifestyle that's how it works almost like it's a ritual or something i don't know if it is a ritual or not but it feels like it it feels like in order for them to, people to have a good life they believe in balance, so some people have to suffer. That's what they believe in. And it's wrong. It shouldn't be like that at all. Like I said, if the average GDP per capita is... If, if the UK makes 2.6, 2.8 trillion dollars a year, and this is just in the system. I'm talking about the system, because it's all fake anyway, it doesn't matter. It's money shouldn't exist at all. The political system shouldn't exist. We all should have right to land, to own some land, and grow food, bring up a family, you know, and trade with one another you know it could work like that but we're all we've been brainwashed into the system we don't know any different we don't know what it would be like and the thing it but i'm looking at a fair, in this system if it was fair everyone should be making in this country should be making 40 fifty thousand dollars maybe about forty thousand pounds a year if you divided how much the uk makes a year which is all fake it's all it's all control it's a control system isn't it that's what it is and you know and apparently, you know, when they say the world's in debt and everything, who's, it, who's the world in debt to? It's in debt to itself. So, yeah. I'll probably go into more detail in another video. But, yeah, I thought I'd just point this out. London's ridiculously expensive as well, guys. You, you can buy... It, 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 for a one-bedroom flat in central London, or even some parts of the rest of London, you're talking about a million pounds. Well over a million dollars just for a one-bedroom flat in some places in London. It's ridiculous. It, it changes a lot, and it's increasing as well in, in other parts of the UK. The UK is ex becoming a very expensive place to live, and it's getting more expensive, yet they're not putting the wages up. It's ridiculous, guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, that's the system. You know what I think about the system. You know I think it's a farce. Well, I'll go more in detail next, but I thought I'd just point this out. Yeah, we're in London. The, probably the Freemason, one of the Freemasonic capitals of the world. One of the control centers of the world you know not far away here if you've got the financial capital apparently it's the financial capital so you've got the which is the city of london it's massive you know you've got the free aren't you the free you've got the 
the financial centre which is London, the religious centre which is the Vatican City and the District of Columbia, I think it is, or the Washington DC is the military uh, uh, power, the three powerhouses, so yeah. London is definitely one of the main ones, there's a lot of evil here. All right there. But it's a fantastic city, I love it. <laughs> Overall, I love London, you know, it's, it's buzzling, it's nice, it's ne a lot of people, you know, when it's the right cultural city, people can feel welcome, you can feel welcome. Overall, most majority of people, are, I'd say, are lovely. And it's a, it's a nice city, it's a good city. There's a lot of history, here, of course, not very pleasant history, but there's history. There's a lot of ar nice architecture, really cool architecture, actually. Makes you question everything. And um, I do like it, but yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the system in general and London is definitely one of the main powerhouses for the control system. Alright guys, I'll leave it there. I look forward to making the next video. Thank you for your time. Oh yeah, by the way, yes, I'm going to upload more videos onto my second, on my second channel, which is Life True Seeking for Beginners. Definitely, but it'll be a different type of videos. You'll see anyway. Alright, cheers guys.